Nigel Farage has given his verdict on the race to become Britain's next Prime Minister and issued a warning over the Conservative Party's lack of vision. Nigel Farage has reluctantly backed Liz Truss in the head to head battle between the Foreign Secretary and former Chancellor Rishi Sunak to become Britain's next Prime Minister. The former Brexit Party leader warned Ms. Truss has not made a great impact in the course of the Conservative leadership campaign and expressed concern over the lack of vision that he believes is holding back Britain's main political parties. Mr Farage told GB News, if I was a Conservative member, which I haven't been for a very long time, I would vote for Liz Truss, not Rishi. But I wouldn't do so in full confidence that she can really grip this issue and a point that was made to me at lunch by a veteran journalist, she has been in the cabinet for 12 years, and Shush is still virtually unknown to the great British public so she hasnt made a great impact. He added the country is facing a very rocky 18 months and said, I think what people are looking for from both parties is a vision for where we're going, not just crisis management. We will give you this money or that money. But there's no vision and the cost of living in particular energy I think will be the dominant issue from September through Christmas of this year. Nowhere do I hear we're going to become self-sufficient in energy, the government's going to invest in energy production. We're gonna give you the cheapest energy prices and not the most expensive in Europe. Nowhere do I hear this vision and they've got that against the net zero vision that Boris Johnson introduced both candidates want to stick to, and if they could, if they could solve the energy problem in the eyes of the public. Make us think that, unlike Germany, we're not going to get rationing of hot water which is happening in Germany, there's already if one or other policy can make us believe that and give us the vision. They will be miles ahead in the polls and at the moment the Tories can't do it and Keir Starmer can't do it.